I'm going to share one of my stories with you today, my friends. Today's story is entitled, Accompany Mama to the Outhouse. I'd like to share one of my stories with you today. I'm going to post a little picture up here on a YouTube page of one of my art drawings, one of my Microsoft art drawings. My parents were divorced. Consequently, my father lived in Florida, my mother lived in Georgia, and uh, at that time we were under the custody of our mother. We were staying on a farm in Aiken, South Carolina. Now, back in those days, not all houses, especially farmhouses out in the country, had indoor plumbing. What we had was a, what they call an outhouse. You can see one in my little drawing up here in the picture. But basically, what an outhouse is, it's a bathroom outdoors. It's a little wooden shack, probably six, eight feet tall, with doors on it, built over a hole in the ground, and with a toilet seat in there where you could sit on it and do your business into that hole in the ground. And probably sounds kind of <laughs> kind of backwards, but I guess it was by today's standards. But everybody had an outhouse, even the rich people, until the indoor plumbing came around. Well, my story today is involving a trip to the outhouse. Now, after it got dark, if you had to go to the outhouse, yeah, you either used a potty in the house or um, you lit a kerosene lantern and carried that on down to the outhouse. Well, the outhouse was a good oh, 100 yards away from the house, maybe. And beyond the outhouse was a farm field that had been growing some corn. Anyway, my mother decided that she she had to go to the outhouse, and myself and my younger brother, we accompanied her. I think maybe she was a little scared to be out there in the dark by herself, but just, while we were there, we could do our business too. So we do our business in the outhouse, and she said, y'all wait out here, and she goes in the outhouse to do her business. Now, you know me and my brother, we was angels, we never did nothing wrong, got in no kind of mischief. Hell, if you believe that lie, I'll tell you another one. Well, anyway, I noticed my brother was missing, so I went around behind the outhouse, and the seat that she's sitting on there is above ground level, you know, two or three feet above the ground level where a toilet seat would be. And below that toilet seat is a knot hole in the wall, and my little brother's looking through that knot hole. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? He said, I can see her hiney. I said, yeah, get away from there. Well, you ever do something without thinking, and uh, <laughs> you really should have thought twice before you done it, but you just impulsively jump right in there and do it. Well, I got this hair brain storm that she's scared enough of being out here in the dark to start with. She's sitting in there on the toilet. I think I'll scare her. Well, over there by the cornfield was an old dried up corn stalk. It must have been three or four feet long. And that knot hole that my brother had been looking for was just about big enough to stick that damn corn stalk through. And I aimed about where I thought her hiney might be and shoved that corn stalk up that hole. <laughs> well, you got a picture. She's sitting in this dark outhouse. And a mental picture is doing her business. Not expecting some creature from the Black Lagoon to come up from nowhere and grab her by the butt. But sure enough, her innocent little son has done I guess I was about 10 at the time. Jammed her in the ass with a corn stalk. 
and I hear this blood curdling scream. Ah! I knew right then I had done something I shouldn't have done. <laughs> well, I knew better than to run, but my brother, he was halfway to the house. <laughs> he was halfway to the house and I did run. He didn't want nothing to do with that. And I guess it didn't take her long to get up and see what had grabbed her by the butt. Cause she come flying out of the house, out of, she come flying out of that outhouse before I could pull the corn stalk <laughs> back down and uh, grabbed me by the cuff of the car. I reached and got her a switch and wore my ass out. <laughs> I won't do it no more. I can still hear me grabbing my butt hollering, I won't do it no more. I won't do it no more. <laughs> She was wearing my ass out. <laughs> it was a long time before she ever asked us to <laughs> accompany her to the outhouse. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you.